Hi, I'm Edna Davis and welcome to 10 Central Studios. I'm one of six artists participating in Open Studios this year from 10 Central Avenue and I'd like to welcome you. I'm fairly new to the art community. I've only been painting for a couple of years and I use watercolors and acrylics. And I tend to like to paint in series of things. I'll find a subject I like and I like to paint multiples of that, maybe with a little bit of variation. So what I'd like to share with you now is a series that I just completed of animals with jewels. I call them my glamour animals. Um, and they're very large canvases, 36 by 24. And I think we'll start here. I'll introduce you to Garnet Giraffe, Emerald Emu, and Sapphire Sheep. You can tell there's a little alliteration in there. And I also did one for a friend for her birthday and it was Ruby Raccoon Reclining in Red. So you can only imagine what that looks like. But anyway, I'm gonna take you down to my studio now and share with you some of my tools and my workspace and some of my other paintings. So come along with me. So here we are in my studio, and this is my workspace. This is the easel that I use primarily for doing acrylics. And this is the easel that I typically use for doing my watercolors. And one of the things that I like to do when I work is oftentimes I'll use a reference photo and that helps me to focus, particularly if I'm doing something for someone else. They might send me a photo that they like and say, could you paint this? And I'll attempt to do it. And then sometimes the things just come out of my head. As I said to you earlier, I like to do things in a series. So let's take a look over here. Um, I have a friend in Charleston who is a wonderful photographer and she sent me her photos of window boxes that she had taken and so I painted these in watercolors and I really like them again it's a series of the same subjects sort of with a different twist and then these watercolors are a little different this is something I've started doing um, rather than framing them under glass and with them with a regular frame I have mounted them on birch panels and what I do is I put a, um, a fixative on the painting itself, and then I adhere it to the panel, and then I put another um, fixative on top of that, a varnish, and then a wax on top of that. And it almost has a suede finish. And what I like about it is that you don't have the expense of a frame in the glass, and you can basically hang them anywhere, and they can be um, really nice little sweet gifts that you can give to people. Uh, over here, I have some of my um, other acrylics that I've done. I lived in Charleston growing up and oftentimes would see the shrimp boats coming in in the evenings with their fresh catch. And so that came out of my memory of those days rather than from a reference photo. Again, this is my workspace. You can see it's not real messy, but you know, you have a lot of stuff when you're an artist and it's lots of fun to use different things and to learn to understand the medium. I'm going to go back to what I said earlier about only painting for a couple years. I always wanted to paint and it wasn't until I heard a Vincent Van Gogh quote where he says, if you have a voice inside of your head saying you can't paint, then by all means paint and silence that voice within. So that's what I decided to do and I hope you will join us sometime here at 10 Central.